Friends, thank you so much for joining me for Enchanted Fairy Collab. This has been so fun. I have loved it so much. I've enjoyed creating for the collab, and I've enjoyed seeing what all the collaborators have been making. I just, I love seeing the variety that everybody comes up with, with the same hashtag. And many of us are using the same digital kit. And I just, I love seeing how everybody puts their own twist on their creations and it's very exciting for me so I'm glad that you're here I hope that you will share some crafty love with all of the collaborators if you've missed any of them go back I've got them all listed in my description box so you can just click on their link go check out their video and give them some love if you want to join in use hashtag enchanted fairy collab and be sure to tag me so that I don't miss your video I definitely want to make sure that I don't miss your video. Today I'm going to be creating belly bands and I will definitely be using these belly bands in the journal that I'm creating for the collaboration. I will be using book pages, scraps, some paper napkin, and parts of the digital kit. I'll be making one horizontal belly band and one vertical belly band. There are a lot of ways and a lot of materials that you can use to create a belly band, but in my case I'm using a piece of scrap and I am wrapping it with a book page. That way I can use up some scrap and I can also use up some of my book pages. That's something I'm working on this year. I hesitate to just use a book page even though it's folded in three that does give it some substance, but it's still not firm enough for a belly band. You have to remember if you're creating a belly band, chances are very strong. You're going to be putting something underneath of it, either a tag, a piece of paper, a card. So using the scrap cardstock is a great way to give it some firmness. Now you can see I have grabbed a piece of the napkin that I've been working with specifically in this journal. This is the only napkin like this that I have, so it's kind of nice to use it all in one project. It creates some cohesiveness within the project. When I'm working with napkin, I have used Mod Podge before, but I have found that a glue stick works great because the napkin is so thin that the glue will grab a hold of that and keep it in place. I don't trim my napkin to size on something like this. I like to glue it down and then once it's dry, I'll go ahead and trim the leftover napkin to size. I don't always ink my belly bands, but there's something about this one, I think the color palette, that sort of makes me want to just make the edges a little richer and give them some definition. I have an image here from the digital kit, Celtic Fantasy, and I am cutting that to be a little bit thinner. Uh, and I'm using my decorative edge scissors just to give it a little contrast. And then I'm going to ink the edges and then I'm going to glue that pretty much to the center of this belly band. I definitely want to add something else to the belly band, so I want to embellish it, but I don't want to embellish it with anything over the top or that's too, uh, too 3D. You know, I, I don't want it to be too bumpy and all that kind of stuff. So I have these flat back gems. Well, these are kind of like pearls, but they're circular and you can see there's a variety of colors. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add those here and there on this belly band. You can see that I'm using a pencil and I'm dipping my pencil eraser into just a tiny bit of water, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm pressing it onto these halfbacks and the water helps it stick and also then the pressure of pressing it sort of presses it into the eraser and then they're super easy to pick up that way. I am using gem tack to adhere them to the belly band. I use that always for this kind of stuff because it works really, really well. I do need a new bottle of it, but it's not cheap. So I'm going to use this until I can't use it anymore. 
I'm going to give you a close up of the completed belly band. Later on in the video, I will show you that I have put it in the journal and I'll probably end up tucking a little tag underneath of it just so that you can see it in action. Now it's time to go ahead and work on our horizontal belly band. I am cutting this to the width that I need it. Then this is going to end up getting folded into, I think, fourths. Yeah, pretty sure fourths. Uh, so that gives it a little bit more weight. Plus, by the time I'm done layering with everything, it won't be flimsy. I wanted to mention that if during this video you hear some bells ringing and maybe some tapping sounds, it's because I am pet sitting for my son and his girlfriend and they have a pup named Rosie and two cats. So I am editing in a different environment. The base of the belly band is ready for the next layer, which is going to be another piece of this super cool napkin. Same thing as the first one. I don't cut it to size until after it's glued on. That way I don't have to worry about cutting it the wrong size or even the wrong shape. So once I get that trimmed up, I'm going to go ahead and add some lace to it. Even though the lace is mostly covering the napkin, you can still see through it. So I like that we can see the book page through the napkin and then we can see the napkin and the book page through the lace. I think it has a really cool effect. I have this trim here and the colors are absolutely perfect in this journal. So I'm using this one piece of trim throughout the journal here and there. Oh, that's a dog toy. <laughs> At any rate, uh, it's perfect and this was given to me in some happy mail. I'd like to add a little bit of embellishment to this belly band. So we are starting with a butterfly. This butterfly does come from the, the Celtic Fantasy Kit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some more of those flatbacks. I think they add a nice little touch without being too overwhelming. I'm going to show this to you super up close in just a second. Uh, the only thing I will mention is that the glue is not dry when I show it to you up close. So you might see a little bit of that on the outside of the flatbacks. I love how this turned out and I really love how it looks inside of the journal. Here it is up close and now we're going to go ahead and take both of the belly bands and we're going to put them inside of the journal. I'm going to go ahead and start with the this little horizontal one. I'm going to add this one in first. I am going to apply it to this purple page. I think it looks so beautiful on this purple page with the gold. I don't know what we would call that. It's It's kind of embossing but it's it's not exactly embossing. At any rate, it looks fantastic. I'm using my clothespins to hold the sides down because it's only glued on the sides. Now, sometimes when I'm adding a belly band, I like to actually put a few tags underneath of it while it's drying. And that way I know I can fit something under there and the glue is not going to hold it down so tightly that you can hardly fit something underneath. So if you saw me do that, that was the reason why I did that. Now I want to go ahead and apply the vertical belly band. I'm looking through the pages to see which one is my favorite. Ultimately, I end up choosing another purple page. It's not the same purple page as the other one, but it is another purple page. And I think I just like the intensity of the purple with the napkin pattern. I'm gonna grab some tags from the kit and I'm gonna slide those into place. Chances are very strong that those won't be the only things, the only tags that I put uh, in the belly bands, but that's it for now. Friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made these belly bands. I got to use up some book pages, which I always like to do because I've got a stack of them and I'm trying to use those up this year. I always love using up scraps, so that was fun. Be sure to check out the collaborators to get some crafty inspiration from them. They are all listed in my description box. Next week, I will be sharing the flip through 
of the journal that I have created for this collaboration. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love it. It will be available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. Thanks for watching. See you soon.